Hey everybody, welcome to my brand new freaking channel. Oh wait, hold on, excuse me one moment. I realize I actually slept in this t-shirt. I'll be right back. While I was gone, I decided to get coffee. God, imagine that, starting a brand new channel and wearing a dirty t-shirt. That's just, that's just unprofessional. I'm very sorry. Hello and welcome to The Awkward Jimmy. This is my brand new channel where I'm going to do everything that isn't strictly music related. I really hope you stick around because I think we're going to have a lot of fun together. So we're three days into NaNoWriMo and I'm getting really obsessed with statistics. I love statistics and to be honest, most of my preparation for NaNoWriMo consisted of making spreadsheets for charting my progress. So for instance, here's my current word count and here's a graph which shows my development over the past three days. As you can see, I'm well on target if I want to hit that 50,000 mark at the end of the month. But I've got enough words written right now that I could possibly finish a few days early and start the editing process. I'm a great believer in the fact that statistics can help you improve any sort of activity you're involved in. For instance, last summer I got a copy of uh, Your Shape Fitness Evolved and I used its built-in statistics tool in order to plan out the sort of workout activities I needed to do for a week and to see how my technique and everything was improving over the time I was using the tool. See, my biggest problem whenever I'm doing sort of big self-improvement kicks is that I just can't see the effect of it right away. And so I get really worried about it. I consider myself as doing it the wrong way. So I keep changing it and not seeing if that particular method has any effect. However, since I've started graphing out things that I do and using statistics tools like that, I'm actually seeing a major improvement in my writing habits and back then in my exercise habits. So strictly speaking, I think graphs are the way forward for self-improvement. In fact, if you could find uh, physical activity or personal activity which requires quantifiable factors such as time or size or number of repetitions or something, I bet I could graph it out and help you reach a target in a fairly short amount of time. So there's a challenge for you. I want you to tell me your personal activities you're involved with and challenge me to find a way of graphing it. Leave your responses in video or text responses in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as humanly possible. One last update, I will be doing a new music video either next week or the week after. That will be on my music channel. Please uh, consider subscribing to this channel because this is going to be like my main channel from now on. Unless I'm doing music things. So please go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise you're just going to miss absolutely everything. And I really hate for that to happen to you. I, I don't want you to feel left out or anything. That'd be really, that'd be a real shame, you know. Yeah, I, I'm sure you understand, but you're a camera, so sorry. Anyway, that's all from me. Until next time, I will see you all on the road. Peace.